Miss Andretti was stamping herself as one of the great sprinters of her generation. And this was for everyone to witness in 2006, winning the Manicato Stakes. Racing. Out in a good line too, Amy J Power, Shadow Ways went back after the start. Crimson Rain, Dance Hero, Magnus at all bar one began brilliantly. With those as mustered further out, Miss Andretti, she has to ease back there. Magnus further out and Miss Andretti coming with a run from California Dame. Dance Hero first for home, but Miss Andretti sweeps it on the outside. Miss Andretti took the lead from Dance Hero. Magnus and then Sasby from Shadow Ways, but Miss Andretti in front of Dance Hero fighting back, but Miss Andretti too good. Went to the half length of the line. As soon as I, I slotted in one off the fence, I knew I was always going to be right in the race, and I didn't realise until now they, they broke the course record. But as soon as she got cover, I knew she'd have a real t good turn of foot at the end, and she travelled up to him not so easy on the corner and put paid on pretty quick. Running a staggering 19.29, she was too good for her rivals. What a sprinting star! He was always the crowd favourite and sometimes in the shadow of the mighty black caviar. However, Haylist got his moment to shine in the 2010 Manicato Stakes. Racing, beautiful start. Haylist just a touch slow. He drives up to join reward for effort. Love Compras all settles down third as the hot favourite goes to the lead. It's Haylist off the rails, leading by two lengths. He's broken reward for effort. True persuasion is still staying on on the inside. And further back as Eagle falls, but it is Haylist. Look at him open up now. This outstanding sprinter, Haylist comes right away. Wins by three, True Persuasion. In the race of his life, Eagle falls a length and a half third. Is it his cruising speed that makes him so good? It's not just his cruising speed, he can sit off them as well, you know. If they go too hard, he can take a sit and, and run by them, which he showed last week. It's just a perfect racehorse. Leading all the way, he ran away to win the Group 1 and gave John McNair one of his career highlights. The 2014 Manicato Stakes will always be remembered more about the post-race drama, a tight finish and a nervous wait for connections with a protest pending. Racing now, buffering began fast, Lankan Rupee beat him out, and knew it put his foot straight on the accelerator, and it's Lankan Rupee the leader, but buffering kicking up is about three quarters away. Also showing speed, not listening to me, Temple of Berman bounding went forward, but she couldn't get in, she's gone back, and Lankan Rupee sped across, and at the 800, he's in front. And Lankan Rupee's going for home, Buffering's trying to go with him. Lankan Rupee about a length in front, and then Temple of Boom, not listening to me. Down the outside, Terra Vista, Lankan Rupee in front, Buffering trying to get him. Lankan Rupee three quarters clear. Down the outside, Terra Vista flying home. They swarm to the line about five or six across. Lankan Rupee, I reckon he might have held on. They're everywhere across the course here. Mate, he's worked last Saturday morning. I just grew in confidence with him. And thought the other day, when he ran second, we probably let buffering a little bit too soft in front, but he's just a rocket, this horse made out of the machines. And I just grabbed a bit between the teeth and sent him to the front. He didn't really get much of a breather, but I dragged him around the corner, let him rail up, and he was there to be run down, mate, but he's clashed him on through. Lankan Rupee kept the race, and the popular gelding claimed another Group 1 win. Everyone loved Chautauqua. The crowd turned out to see the flashy grey do what he does best, and boy, he didn't let them down. They're off. Caught him in a good line. Buffering and Tiger tease away very quickly, and also showing good speed just behind them, rich enough, but it's Buffering for the time being holding them out. Buffering doing it tough, but he loves it that way. He leads from Rich Enough, Alpha Miss. Here's Tiger Tees and Tree Candy around the outside. Now Chautauqua's got into the clear. Buffering the leader. Tree Candy after him. Chautauqua coming on strongly. Tree Candy hit the front. Chautauqua mows it down. Pounce, races away and won like a champion. One of five, two links. Yeah, look, it was, uh, it was a super effort, you know. He was cool, calm, collected, didn't panic. Even though certainly, uh, certainly made him earn it, but that's what it's all about when you're uh, when you're the hot pot. But at the 700, I'm sure the uh, quaddy punters were in a bit of uh, strife. But uh, when he came the corner and just pushed out, it was uh, well, it's just a fantastic feeling, that's for sure. A stunning win, and no doubt that Chautauqua was a real star on and off the track.